So what I usually try to do um, um, similarly is to not actually start with like a, a formal lecture, like this content will be graded uh, and, and will be on the exam, but like, what is like, a really cool like movie of, of a cell or, or some like dynamic process. And I just show it and then ask them, what do you see? What do you think? What might you like, what, what questions do you have? Just to get them thinking about like, like a scientist or, or what to, to draw them in and to, and to get their own imagination going rather than telling them, this is what you're supposed to see. This is what I want you to know. This is what, um, and so I think that sets a tone of, I want them to sort of think and ask questions and, and make observations and, and that that is as important as what is actually going on in, in the particular example that, that I choose. Um, and as, as Richard said, I think it shows for me why I love cell biology and why I think it's yeah. an amazing, fascinating topic um, and hopefully sparks a little bit of that in them. Um, and then it also allows me to, from their answers, it allows me to sort of get a sense of where they're at. Like if they're like asking really sophisticated questions and observation, like, okay, I, I know I can start here. If they're, if they're not there yet, then, then, you know, I can sort of pull back a, a little bit. And, and so I think having that, um, like setting that, letting them kind of with their curiosity, um, sort of tell me where they're at. That, that's how I start um, start my course.